I have always wanted to play for Real Madrid. Three hours have passed since I signed the contract, and it feels like a lifetime. I want to stay with Real Madrid for my entire career. That's how Enric entered the press conference room at Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, full of confidence and pride as he officially debuted in the Real Madrid jersey. This marks the highlight of Real Madrid officially opening the Galacticos 3.0 era after a decade of waiting. Under the leadership of President Perez, Real Madrid has been executing an ambitious strategy to maintain and solidify its position as one of the world's top football clubs over many seasons. In reality, recruiting Enric is just a part of their long-term strategy. With a contract worth 35 million euros, along with potential add-ons increasing up to 25 million euros, Real Madrid has clearly shown their strong investment and long-term vision for the future. This season, the appearance of Kylian Mbappe in the squad has created a buzz among the fans. The icon of French football, the golden goose at League One, has now also succumbed to the irresistible allure of Los Blancos. Once again, Real Madrid has become the ultimate, most prestigious destination for top world superstars. The reigning champions of the Champions League and La Liga have also been quite comprehensive in the previous season, as evidenced by the titles achieved under Carlo Ancelotti, amidst a squad filled with talents like Vinicius Jr., Jude Bellingham, Rodrigo, Federico Valverde, Aurelien Chouameni, and Eduardo Camavinga. The past, present, and future show that there has never been a time when Los Blancos truly face difficulties. In the past, fans of other clubs might have believed it was political backing, but currently, it is due to the economic prowess of Godfather Perez and Real Madrid's strategic transfer team. As known, not only focusing on signing big stars, but also on seeking and developing young talents. According to CIES Football Observatory, the value of Real Madrid's squad is estimated at up to 1.8 billion euros, much higher than the actual cost to build this team. This model is based on various factors such as the player's age, contract duration, playing experience, goals, and assists before transfers. These factors help the model provide an accurate estimate of the market value of players, showing that Real Madrid is a highly profitable club when compared to the initial transfer fees. Despite Real Madrid's reputation for blockbuster signings in recent years, they have adopted more economical strategies due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the renovation of the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. The renovation work, which began in 2019, cost the club over 1.76 billion euros, but has given Real Madrid's home a new, more modern look. The brand new seats, technologies covering the sanctuary, and most notably, the closure technique that Real Madrid used in key matches of the previous season, have brought a new face to the stadium. Although ranked among the world's highest spending clubs since the 2019-2020 season, the 650,000 euros Real Madrid has spent on transfer costs is still lower than many other big clubs like Chelsea and Manchester United. According to spending statistics, Real Madrid spent less than West Ham, Aston Villa, and Tottenham Hotspur, which aren't major forces in England, but have had to invest significantly to compete. Moreover, they buy, but also sell, sometimes at unbelievable prices. In 2018, Cristiano Ronaldo was sold for exactly 100 million euros, the same amount they paid nine years earlier. After a relatively quiet period before COVID, they sold older players ready for replacement. Casemiro is a clear example of this strategy, bought from Sao Paulo for 5.8 million euros in 2013 at the age of 21, then moved to Manchester United for 70.6 million euros after nine and a half years, having won five Champions League titles with Real Madrid. Another player, Rafael Varane, bought for 10 million euros, was later sold to Manchester United for 40 million euros, creating significant profit for the club. The profitable deals with United are unlikely to be replicated in the future because Los Blancos have already gained over 100 million from just two deals. In addition to player trades, Real Madrid also earns profits from training and selling academy products. Ashraf Hakimi, a homegrown talent, was sold to Inter Milan for 43 million euros, and Sergio Reguilon was sold to Tottenham Hotspur for 30 million euros. Recently, they sold defender Rafa Marin to Napoli for 12 million euros, showing the effectiveness of their young player development strategy. The royal lineage has been tested for many years, 
and their youth hunting partners do not hesitate to spend significant amounts. Of course, not all of Real Madrid's contracts have been successful. Eden Hazard is a prime example of a disappointing signing, bought for 100 million euros from Chelsea. Hazard faced many injuries and did not perform as expected, eventually retiring last summer. Striker Luka Jovic, another 60 million euro signing, also failed to meet expectations and left on a free transfer after two unsuccessful seasons. These were signings made in the summer of 2019, the last time they brought in a player over 25 to be a core member without being a free transfer like David Alaba. In the following seasons, Real Madrid continued to hunt for new beliefs. Jude Bellingham, with an initial transfer fee of 103 million euros, is now valued by CIS at 285,000 euros after an impressive 2023-24 season. He joined Real Madrid at the beginning of last season, just 20 years old, and immediately silenced doubts with five goals in four matches, replicating Ronaldo's debut record nine years earlier. Madrid has found a new belief, and whenever they are in trouble, someone will emerge with an arrogant celebration of outstretched arms. Vinicius is valued by CES at 231.5 million euros, Rodrigo at 204.8 million euros, from an initial transfer fee of only 35 million euros in 2021. In the 2023-24 season, Kylian Mbappe's one-way flight to Madrid also officially took place. For the first time since 2009, tens of thousands of fans surrounded Santiago Bernabeu for a new signing just to hear Ninja Turtle shout, one, two, three, holla Kylian Mbappe. Despite joining on a free transfer, Mbappe is valued much higher due to his talent, and on transfer mark, he could be valued as high as Jude Bellingham. So far, before the 2024-25 season, Real Madrid has spent less than 50 million euros on an endgame squad, with Enric being the latest chosen one. Besides young players, longtime club members like Modric, Courtois, and Vasquez still play crucial roles in the team. Modric, despite being 38, has signed a new contract and continues to contribute to the team. Thibaut Courtois and Lucas Vasquez, both 32, remain key pillars in Real Madrid's squad. And, of course, Danny Carvajal, the go-to option for every coach in crucial matches, is still there. Not flashy or ostentatious, he now has six Champions League trophies, along with a fresh Euro, bringing Spain back to the top at both club and international levels. The current Real Madrid squad is not only focused on achieving success in the upcoming season, but also laying a solid foundation for the future. Head coach Carlo Ancelotti has shared his thoughts on how he will utilize Kylian Mbappe alongside other stars in the team in a season where they aim to defend two championship trophies simultaneously. Flexibility in using players is a key element in his strategy. I see Mbappe playing up front with a wide range of movement. I think the key to a good attack is mobility. If I ask you where Vinicius played last season, it's hard to say. He didn't play as a left midfielder, sometimes he played on the left, sometimes in the middle. Jude Bellingham sometimes played on the left, sometimes in the middle, sometimes on the right. Rodrigo started most matches on the right, but sometimes in the match, I saw him on the left. This mobility, according to the Italian coach, will help the players maximize their potential. Ancelotti allows players to move freely and change positions during matches to maximize attacking opportunities. It's important to have this mobility. I want to give my players the freedom to control the situation of the game. We played a match with City with both Rodrigo and Vinicius on the left, because we thought we could exploit that. And we also had Carvajal and Fadi on the right. Ancelotti also emphasized that Mbappe's adaptation to the new lineup is crucial for success. The most important thing is that Mbappe feels comfortable and confident with his new teammates and Real Madrid's style of play. Mbappe is an outstanding talent and I believe he will quickly integrate and make a big difference for the team. The flexibility and diverse tactics of Ancelotti have brought much success to Real Madrid in the past, even just a few months ago. Therefore, he expresses hope that with the addition of young talents and top stars, the team will continue to maintain high performance in the upcoming season. We have a strong and balanced squad, and I believe that with the combination of experience and young talent, we will have a successful season. Looking ahead with smart strategies and investment in young talents, Real Madrid will continue to be one of the top football clubs in the world, not only in the present, but also in many years to come.
the arrival of Enric and Mbappe marks a promising start for the Galacticos 3.0 era. With the leadership of Florentino Perez and the guidance of Carlo Ancelotti, Real Madrid is firmly advancing on the path to conquer new heights in the football world. Only half a decade after straying with one of the worst transfer windows of the 21st century, Real Madrid has returned with a more reasonable, shrewd policy, reaching the 1.8 billion euro milestone according to CIES, a testament to how strongly Los Blancos have rebounded. And with Jude, Vinny and Mbappe leading the front line next season, who can stop them now?